and was starting at the top of her head, which is her hat. And as you can see, she's got a spectacular witch's hat on there with a big yellow bow and a buckle in it with spiders and flies crawling all over it, just to make her nice and ugly, even though she's a very pretty witch. And down from that, then, we have uh, a lovely necklace, and that is made with um, snail shells, and we just painted them all up uh, in gold. So don't worry, all the snails are gone out of them. And the last thing she has is a cape, and uh, the cape is made from uh, a refuse sack that you all have at home, and we just stuck on lots of stars on it. And finally, she's got um, a broom that you can see there, and uh, the broom has just been wrapped around with black cut paper, decorated with gold. And the very last thing I forgot to tell you was underneath her hat, she's got some lovely bright uh, yellow hair, and you can make that with raffia or yellow wool. So that's Laura in her outfit, and uh, Barbara is going to put her witch's face on to complete the whole look. Um, but before we go over, we also have the clown here, and this is Caroline. And again, we start with um, the clown's head, which is here at the top, obviously. And um, this is a bald head, as you can see, with uh, lots of hair. The hair is made um, from wool or raffia, whatever you want. Then we've made her nose with uh, a table tennis ball or a ping pong ball with a bit of elastic. And then we've made a dicky bow here with some bright colour material. And whatever clothes you have at home, if you have bright stripy t-shirts like I have here, um, you could put that on. You could also get some nice bright coloured braces, um, a pair of baggy jeans. And a good thing to do with your jeans to make them look like a clown is to get some pieces of felt or scraps of material and uh, sew them on to the knees to make them look like patches. The other thing you could do is just put uh, hankies or whatever hanging out of the pocket. And uh, the last thing for our clown, uh, we have to go way down to the bottom, right down to her feet, because on her feet we have got special clown shoes, uh, which can only be made on how do you do. There you can see she's her stripy socks. And then for her shoes, what I did was I just cut up a mineral bottle, an empty mineral bottle, painted it, and just put on some bright bows and a bit of string, and you've got big, bright uh, clown shoes. So there you go. Those are our two outfits. And uh, Barbara, you can get to work and do the French painting, or I'll go over here and show them how to make the outfit. Okay, okay. Grant, paint away. All right, so if you'd like to follow me over here, I'll show you all the bits and pieces that uh, you need for this program. And as usual, they're all gathered up here in this corner. For the witch's outfit, you basically need for her hat um, some black paper. Um, you'll also maybe need some uh, black cut paper if you want to decorate um, a broom handle. For her hair, you need some coloured raffia, like this yellow stuff, or green, or some wool. And if you want to put stars or things like that on, you can get, this is sort of stick-on, peely stuff. Um, it's gold, and you can just sort of peel off the back of it and stick on stars when you cut out the star shapes on them. So that's for the witch. Then for the clown, uh, for the head itself, you'll need some balloons. Balloons are here in the front. You'll need um, newspaper cut up into strips like this. You'll need some wallpaper paste, and you'll also need uh, some water and a bowl to mix it in. Um, to paint, you'll need, uh, for the clown's feet, you'll need some red poster paint. You'll also need a bit of washing up liquid, and I'll tell you the reason why in a moment or two. And for the actual shoes itself, you will need uh, an empty mineral bottle, and you'll also need some string. This is red string, or you can use just ordinary string. And then some material like this if you want to make uh, bowls. So those are more or less the basic ingredients. You might need one or two other things, but I can tell you about those as we go along. Now, the very first thing we're making today is the witch's hat. And uh, for convenience sake, I have more or less drawn it out, as you can see here, on uh, a black piece of paper. I've just used a, a white um, colouring pencil so that you can sort of see it. This is um, a sort of a semicircular, triangular shape like this. And then I just put lines up along here because you're just going to cut up along those to make little tabs on them. Then for the, the brim of the hat, you need to get something like a very large uh, dinner plate, and you can just uh, draw the outside circle. And then for the center circle, get either a small side plate or a saucer, and you can draw that circle there. And the last thing you need to make is a buckle. And the buckle is just uh, a buckle shape like this here, um, with a rectangular shape in the center. So if I hold it up, uh, you can see it, and you can have a better idea as to what it looks like. So that's the witch's pattern for her hat, OK? So I hope you can gather what that looks like, and uh, we'll move on to the next stage. Now, the next stage is um, when you have cut out the pattern, um, it will look like this. This is for the, the top part of the hat. So the next thing you have to do is just cut into all these bits here, and then just bend them all up. All right, the whole way around. 
and I won't continue doing it all. The other thing you need to do is to get some masking tape, as I have done here. Now, this is actually not masking tape, it's double-sided tape. It's sticky on both sides. Or if you haven't got uh, that kind of tape, all you need to do is just put a little bit of glue on uh, along there, and then just fold your hat around into a cone shape and bend it down like this and it should stick along the back there okay this is just roughly done we have one as usual which i have made earlier so we'll just uh, take it out so as you can see there's the sticky bit there i just stuck it along here like that and then i just turned up all the ends of it like that all right and the last stage is just to get a little bit of glue and you can put a dab of glue on each of these uh, pieces here at the end, these are rather like tabs, just a dab the whole way around, and then get your brim, which you will have cut out in those tiny parts, and then just place it down over it like this, and then just press it down, and there you've got a nice bit of the hat. Now the last stage is just to decorate it, and to decorate it what we're going to do is, there are two ways of doing it. The first way is this, which uh, is simple enough. What I have done, as you can see there, is I've cut out from that gold paper. It's a bit like contact, really, because you can peel this stuff off here and uh, it's sticky on the back. I cut out some very big gold stars and then I cut out um, some smaller stars. And I also cut out some moon shapes. And then I just stuck them all around the hat, uh, as you can see there, and covered it completely. Now, you could, if you wanted, do it around the brim as well, but I just prefer to leave it plain. So that's one idea. Um, with those stars, you could also um, stick them onto your plastic bag for your cape, uh, and it gives a, a nice uh, matching cape to go with the hat. The other idea is to do like I did with Laura's hat. Was uh, I got some raffia, and I stuck it underneath here um, with some glue. Uh, you could also use some wool if you haven't got this kind of shiny raffia. And then I added on a bow with tissue paper. And for that, I just simply got the tissue paper, piece of tissue paper, uh, gathered it in the center like this for a bow, and then just stuck it on there. And then I cut out, um, this was the buckle part, and then glued it on there. And then the last thing uh, is to get things like these spiders and uh, flies. There's a couple of them all these that you can get. You can get these in joke shops and places like that. So get a selection of those if you can and put, put a bit of glue and glue it onto the centre of the hat here. And again with the fly, you can do the same thing. Stick it on there. Okay? And you can add on as many of them as you want to. So that's how to do the two hats. So we put the hats aside and we'll show you how to do um, the broom. Because if you don't have a sweeping brush at home and you, uh, that your mom will let you use, you might have a big long stick and you'd like to make your own broom. So what I did with this stick was I filled it, or at least I just wrapped crepe paper around it three quarter ways. And then towards the end, I just added on some black crepe paper. That's yellow at the top. Then I cut black card into lots of strips like this. And then just stuck them around the edge of it here at the end. And then the final thing I did was here they all are on, um, is just to wrap some twine around it here, and uh, there you've got uh, your own homemade.